This is a whistle stop tour of a few of the main items that I've spotted from our September antique sale. Starting in the cabinet here, this is the first lot in the sale and for any man cave or man's desk, that is the perfect item. Coming up to Christmas, this is a Victorian combination clock, barometer and thermometer. It's a really good quality piece here and it's all working. It's on a marble base. This is all um, nickel plated brass in the shape of a ship's anchor. It's a fantastic thing. Estimates two to three hundred. I'd love to have that. This is a rare item as well from a Hastings trolley bus. Um, a sign saying passengers leaving the car whilst in motion do so at their own risk. It's in perfect condition. I've never seen another one of those. So that's interesting. Is it some beautiful um, stained glass window designs under, the, under here? This one's extremely fine. I don't know why they had to paint them quite so small, but um, extremely detailed late 19th century designs. So I really like those. Um, there's lots of, uh, lots of jewelry and silver that we're going to feature on a separate video and some fabulous watches. One of the best watch selections we've ever had. Um, I think Will is going to show you the, those on a separate video. Here's one of our silver items for this sale. It's a magnificent um, fruit bowl for the dining table. It's, it is solid silver and it's by Aspreys. So that, if you bought it from Aspreys, would cost you several thousand pounds. And that's in, in this sale. There's quite a few pieces of solid silver here as well. Um, we'll just move along here to Winston Churchill's cigar, which is here in a display cabinet. It looks rather um, chewed and <laughs> looks like an old finger. <laughs> from, a, uh, from a mummy. This was given to him, or given by him, to Claire Sheridan. Uh, this is Claire Sheridan when she was um, sculpting Churchill's head. And there's a story attached to this that um, he produced this sculpture, or she produced the sculpture. He didn't really like it. He didn't think that uh, she'd got the mouth quite right. And she said, well, you've always got a cigar in your mouth. So he took the cigar out and gave it to her. And that's it. So there's the cigar, fantastic thing. Um, these do come up for sale occasionally, and we've sold one before, I think. And they generally make sort of high hundreds of pounds, but it looks great. And it's nice to have a story attached as well. And Claire Sheridan lived very near Battle here. So she's a local character. These um, fabulously framed items here are royal, um, they're, they're Victorian, um, performance schedules. So this one is 1890 and it's just a schedule of um, evenings entertainments in Buckingham Palace and here's one for Windsor Castle in 1849. But don't they look amazing with these um, coronets on the tops of the frames there. So we'll keep moving along. Lots and lots of clocks, some beautiful carriage clocks in this time. You can hear them all ticking away and an Atmos clock here. Jaeger Lacoutre Atmos, very fashionable clocks those as well. Very temperamental. And we'll keep moving up here to the Margaret Thatcher area. <laughs> so we've got a lot of items relating to Thatcher. I'll just show you that one, which is a toilet roll dispenser. <laughs> that goes with these as well, so a coat hanger and a cardboard stand. And next to it, as we'll move quickly on, is this, which is um, a name plaque from, um, it's a Royal Navy ship, the Kildarton, it's the HMS Kildarton, and I think that was decommissioned in about 1965, and that's the original name plaque. It's a great thing as well, under, with the propeller underneath as well. Uh, lots and lots of oriental items this time, lots of Japanese and Chinese things. Um, some of the most interesting things have come from um, one chap who lives locally to here, who's moving to another part of the country, and he lived in Japan for quite a number of years. And um, when he came back, he brought back all this satsuma ware, which all this is satsuma, Japanese porcelain. And quite a few of these items were from his house and on the wall here this was well, I don't know whether it was his but he 
he owned it. This fabulous wedding kimono. Looks like you need to be about nine foot tall to wear that. But um, it's in new condition. And these are the silk obi that, that are worn around the center. And these, which are very interesting table screens that have been mounted in frames. And we think these are most likely to be 18th century. Um, hand painted and gilded screens that are quite fine and rare things. And we'll keep moving on here. More Japanese furniture from the same house. And oriental lamps and this, which is a hibachi, which is like a type of a, a cooking stove. That's Japanese as well. And then we'll just have a look at this fabulous bookcase over here. Just one step. <laughs> lots of pictures in this sale. So we have about 400 lots of, of um, various pictures. This has come out of a store, a storage unit. And it's the most amazing Georgian library bookcase. And it's huge. Look at that. It's, it's nearly nine feet tall. This, uh, if you've got the ceiling height for it, you'll struggle to find a better bookcase. And if you look closely here, it's got this fabulous um, grain here. I'm pretty sure it's plum, pug plum pudding mahogany, which is incredible when it's lit beautifully. And it's all over. It has that same grain. Would look great filled with books. So that's a very rare item, that as well. So this sale is the September antique sale and it's on view on Monday and Tuesday of next week. And the sale is on Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday is the main antiques in the morning, silver and jewelry and watches in the afternoon. And then the pictures are on the Thursday. And there'll be a separate video coming up after this of the watches, silver and jewelry. So please have a look at the catalog online. Thank you very much.